Let's talk Taylor Harden Tucker. This is Perspective Log X, and I am your host, E.A. Crespo. Perspective Log X, Lakers Fandom. For those who haven't heard of him, he was the only pick the Lakers had in the last draft. So here's the deal. I was browsing the other day through YouTube. I started watching this podcast from Lakers Nation, uh, Trevor Lane, um, and the podcast was not about Taylor Horton Tucker, but he mentioned at the end uh, Taylor Horton Tucker as the theme of why he should not be in the LA team and stay in South Bay right now. That was maybe a week and a half ago. And I'm not sure if it was him or uh, a reporter from another source that asked Frank Vogel about Taylor Horton Tucker and Frank Vogel's comments were that he need to see more consistency and that was pretty much it. I've been saying for quite a while that Taylor Horton Tucker is NBA ready and he should be in the LA team. And this video is about the reasons why I think Taylor Horton Tucker should be in LA or at least why he should be on the Lakers bench. First of all, I believe uh, that Treble Lane is a good authority when it comes to tell you about the Lakers and about basketball in general. I think he knows what he talks about, but that doesn't mean that he is right every time. So here's the deal, I'm going to put his objections and my reasons and let you decide what do you think about what I have to say, what he has to say and make a comment right down here and it will be an interesting conversation an interesting thread of comments. So let's see what comes out of it. First objection is that he is too young. Not exactly in those words. What Trevor Lane said is that he is a 19 year old player that does 19 year old things. But if he was the first 19-year-old player that would get into the NBA, I would be kind of in agreement. The overall field goal percentage and a free throw percentage is too low. But, that is if you account for all the games. And what happens is the first games, he was trying to get through things. The first game, he was pretty good, but second, third game, he was trying to find himself. Now, the last seven games, the percentage is not the same. I gotta put on my glasses for this part. The overall average of Taylor Horton Tucker in the G League is 16.2 points per game, 4.5 assists per game, and six rebounds per game. His field goal percentage is 39.9% and his free throw 
Average is 72. And uh, I think it's 72.28%. Now, in the last seven games, his average is 23 points per game from 16.2 overall with all the games and the last seven games he's averaging 23 and two of those games are actually 30 plus points in, the, in two of them, right? He's averaging 5.3 assists in the last seven games against the 4.5 in the total, the overall. The rebounds, he he's six in the overall, but the last seven games, he's seven. He's averaging one rebound more. And this is the big difference. The field goal percentage overall is 39.9%. And remember, some of that went up because it was 20 something. But now it's 48% is view count only this last seven games. And his free throw percentage is the closest, the close percentage, but it's still up. It was 72.23 and now it's 73.3. So there is a big difference between the stats of the overall games and the last seven games. He is starting to be a consistent scorer, scoring, you know, not 16.2, which is the overall average, but actually 23 points per game. I don't mean disrespect, but one of the phrases that Trevor Lane used is that that THT can't be the savior of the Lakers. I don't know if that's what people are talking about. Most people that I heard on videos or read on Twitter and uh, comments on social media is that he can add to the bench. I don't think the Lakers need a savior. <laughs> the Lakers are number one in the West. And I know they are trying to be better because they are trying to look for a perimeter defender and uh, somebody who can make plays, a playmaker who can make plays for himself and for others. All these things, you can find them in Taylor Horton Tucker even if he makes mistakes, he's coming from the bench and he can be a little bit more of a factor without having to trade anybody from the team. And I tell you, you take away the chemistry that the Lakers have right now by trading people like Kuzma, like Rondo, and, and, and it's difficult to trade Rondo because of how his contract is built. Or KCP, you know, it, who are you going to trade? Kuzma, Quinn Cook, and THT, for example. We cannot keep trading the young people because in two years, maybe a third of the roster could retire. So we got to... We can't keep chipping off young talent to other teams. Taylor Horton Tucker is good at reading the defense. As a consequence, he's a good passer. He's a good defender who can read the passing lanes, and he's got 
2.4 steals, his 6'9 wingspan and his strong physique makes him able to guard guards, small forwards and even power forwards and he is only 6'4 but his wingspan is so long, kind of like Kawhi Leonard and his hands are really big also like him. Oops, magic. Stay time. He's a perimeter defender who can score and be a playmaker for him or others. And I think that's what we need. And if it's coming from the bench, that's what we are asking for. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, please, if you like these videos, support this channel by clicking the like button, by subscribing, and by sharing this video. Thank you for watching.